Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, news and commentary from the heartland, and I'm Bill Stone. Yesterday, I made a video about how internet hate mobs can turn into physical threats, and in the case of Mecha Random 42, this has just occurred. Last night, following her live stream, Chris uh, Hunter threatened Mecha Random 42 with physical violence. And I have a link to that below. Please feel free to go and watch it. There was also some nasty stuff said actually during the stream. Now, I am a libertarian, which means that I'm a devotee of the zero aggression principle or non-aggression principle, they're used interchangeably, which states no human being has the right under any circumstances to initiate force against another human being, nor to threaten or delegate its initiation. Well, Chris Hunter has just violated the zero aggression principle. I have consequently reported his threatening uh, post to YouTube and contacted his local police department, which according to his Facebook page would be the Los Angeles Police Department, and I would ask you to do the same. However, this is not always sufficient to protect oneself from physical violence. Now, the zero aggression principle specifically forbids initiation of force. It does not forbid use of force in response to initiated force. So consequently, as a libertarian, I would advise anyone to go armed in order to protect yourself from initiated force. So if you live in an area in which it is legal, I would advise you to obtain a concealed carry permit, purchase a handgun, practice with it at your local gun range, because if you don't know how to use it, it is useless to you, and then carry it on your person. Now, personally, just in terms of something I might suggest to you in that regard, I personally would suggest a Model 1911 pistol. Now, this was originally manufactured and made by Colt in 1911, which is why it is the M1911. However, there are lots and lots of different places that have different versions of this. Uh, they've been using, you know, lots of manufacturers have been making this for more than 100 years. Now, I have a Kimber Custom Classic, which is based again on the Model 1911, but it's more accurate due to very precise manufacturing. And in fact, it was suggested to me by a police officer who said that he kept it handy in the event that his somewhat more anemic department issued 9mm Glock wasn't adequate to the situation. As I said yesterday, internet hate bombs can become destructive or violent given enough momentum, and that momentum has reached Mega Random 42. And again, I would remind you that Twitter is nonsense. Facebook is nonsense. The press is nonsense. Do not take them seriously. Don't join the hate mobs that they inspire that can destroy lives. So that's all I really have to say about that subject for today. Thanks for watching, and if you like what I'm doing, please like, sub, hit the notification bell, and to tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would definitely appreciate your support either on Subscribestar or my PayPal tip jar, both of which I have linked to below in my description. In any case, thanks for watching, and thank you for your support. And remember, for a breath of fresh air, watch Tales from SYL Ranch. News and commentary from the heartland. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing. The control and manipulation of minds.